Dowser here, if you ever wondered how to say that, uh, attempting a uh, video review of my Nook Color, uh, which I picked up uh, about two weeks ago. And uh, this is not the operating system that came on it. Uh, actually, the operating system you're looking at isn't running on the device at all. It's running from uh, uh, SD card, 16 gigabyte SD card. Uh, it's Cyanogen Mod 7 which is um, a volunteer-built uh, version of uh, Android Gingerbread 2.3.4. Uh, and uh, you can see it's pretty responsive. This is the home screen. I don't like a lot of uh, apps or anything on my main home screen, but you can get to them easily. Um, I don't know how much detail you can see in the video here, but uh, you know, I have a widget here from an app called Elixir uh, that lets me turn Wi-Fi on and off, turn Bluetooth on and off. Um, I'm sure you can't see up here, but the uh, processor is running at 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, that's using, uh, and now it just jumped down to 600 uh, megahertz. That's uh, uh, running on an interactive governor. And the uh, kernel that lets me do that came from uh, xda-developers.com, uh, as did uh, the operating system itself, Cyanogen Mod 7. So I, fi I find it uh, definitely preferable to the, the operating system that came on the Nook Color, which was, I mean, it, it was an e-reader. It was designed to be an e-reader. It uh, keeps your books front and center. Uh, the last few books that you opened up, uh, or apps, and uh, they do offer a few apps in their app store uh, on here. You know, I have full access to the app store. It's taking a minute to load. Sometimes it opens up a little more quickly than that. That's probably my network and not the, uh, the Nook. Um, you can see I have full access to the Google App Store. I uh, don't have the Amazon App Store on here right now, but I... Uh, have had that installed in the past. That certainly works. Uh, some games, uh, Angry Birds, of course. Uh, Doodle Droid, which is kind of fun. You, you know, etch, etch a sketch of a sort for the uh, for the Nook. Um, and uh, you can always go back to your home screen. screen. Um, that's one of the Game Loft games. Uh, which, you know, are pretty detailed, uh, um, pr pretty good graphics. It does take a minute to load up. I'm not going to uh, launch that right now. And uh, you can see I uh, accidentally there long pressed, and uh, it brings up. You can put uh, new widgets on your screen. I uh, showed you that Elixir widget before. There's a widget here uh, for any music you might have playing. You can change your wallpaper and all that. Um, you can see I am running a live wallpaper. It's... Uh, Again, I don't know how uh, clearly you can see, but it's a little rippling water that, you know, whenever you touch it, uh, you send out a, a ripple. And uh, it's pretty pretty satisfying uh, uh, water um, effect that they get going there. I like it. Um, this is where I keep uh, most of my, I don't know if you'd call it productivity apps. Uh, whole row, actually dedicating to reading. I do, I do still use it as an e-reader. Um, my main e-reader app actually is the only app I keep on my home screen. That's Aldico, if it's pronounced like that. Uh, I still have it putting up the little tips when I open it. But let's say go home, last read. I don't know if I'm going to keep reading this book, uh, but I did start it. Um, the brightness is way up on this right now. You can turn that up and down in this app just by sliding your finger along the one side, which is great. Uh, otherwise, I have uh, I, a uh, user-made app from xda-developers.com uh, called Recent Plus, which I long press my home key, which is the little lowercase n key down here that I'm sure you can't see because of the lighting. But uh, I press that, and it brings up a nice brightness slider, universal brightness slider. The uh, settings in Aldico are, are local to the program. 
and uh, my all my most recent apps. Uh, there can be, uh, I don't know what the actual upper limit is, but I've seen like 10 different apps on there if uh, the Nook has been on for a while. So that's that. Oh, and uh, I can also go home from there, go to my home screen. I always have a soft button down here to go home as well, but um, it's good to have options. And uh, the internet, I suppose. And I had this open a minute ago, and uh, this is actually the website I mentioned where I got most of the information and the uh, actual uh, disk images and such that I used to, to customize the Nook uh, XDA developers. And this is their Barnes & Noble Nook Color section of their forum. Um, and let's uh, you know, follow some links. Nook Color accessories. Fairly speedy. Um, you know, pretty responsive. I'm using a Dolphin HD browser, so I've got my bookmarks right over there. Put those away. And, you know, someone's looking for a custom Nook color stand. I'm sure you can't see too much detail. Uh, but you can probably still see kind of overall how it's responding. And, of course, you can pinch to zoom. And you can double tap to get, uh, so it'll, you know, smart fit the uh, the text, which, you know, works better sometimes than others. This time it worked pretty well. Fit the text really neatly into uh, the window I'm using. Um, Accelerometer is pretty responsive, you know. it. Uh, this guy only got one reply, so there's not much to show you there. Uh, you can also see, you know, I have my, my, my time and weather uh, widget up at the top there. Um, I really kind of set everything up to look best in portrait mode. And um, the screen is uh, pretty reflective in bright light. Um, I still rarely have brightness above, like, say, 35%. Um, but outdoors, you know, I wouldn't try to read it in full sunlight. Outdoors on a sunny day in the shade, you're, you're going to see some reflection, but it's still still readable. Right? It's it's pretty comfortable to hold when you're reading, um, but you do you do feel the hard edges, and you know it weighs about a pound, a little under a pound. Uh, so so you know you do you do feel it. There's some fatigue if you keep it in the same position for very long, but um, you know a, a, a nice. Uh, Nice case should uh, help take the uh, literally take the edge off, take the edges off. Um, so that's that. Uh, still very functional, you know. Arguably a more functional uh, e-reader, and uh, very uh, very flexible, um, you know, pseudo tablet as well. Uh, oh, I have Google Sky here. That uh, let it load up and. Oh, there we go. And, I mean, that works very well. Uh, I'm surprised at, at how well that works. Uh, the Google Sky, the Star Maps work on this little tablet. You know, of course it's taking location from my uh, uh, Wi-Fi network. It doesn't have uh, GPS. But, yeah. Overall, pretty impressive little gadget. And, you know, all my Google Apps work. I've got maps on here and... Uh, my Gmail is totally integrated. It lets me know when I have new email. I actually, I think, stay more on top of my email with this than uh, with my PC. Um, and uh, overall, great little, great little uh, device.